right, welcome back, everybody, for another episode of the CBSI Hot 10 Show. Make sure you go over to comicbookinvest.com and check out the article that I will be writing with a couple little tidbits some more notes than what we're going to present here. But if you want to see what the hottest books are for this week, all you got to do is hang on for a few seconds after the intro, and we will be right back. Notable sales. All right, here we go. Uh, notable sales, starting off with another great one. If you watch TAC this week, uh, if you know the themes that have been going around, we've been doing a lot of stuff on Kaiju's. Uh, Amazing Adventures did not make our buy it list there, but it does make it here. This is a great book. It's an 8.0. It sold for $15.60 at auction. Yep. The last I know did sell for like 6300 so that's pretty cool. But this was an 8 It's up $260. Just a little notes on some of this stuff. Why these are cool. And like we kind of got in a debate with it because we didn't actually buy a similar book uh, on the tax show. But this is Kirby art. It's got Stan mm-hmm. Lee writing it. It's got his brother writing in it. It's got Ayers on the cover. Uh, it's got doing some of the, uh, inking and then on the inside, it's got Ditko and a lot of these have it. This is also first Dr. Groom for those people that care, um, which is, turns into, it turns into Dr. Druid. He was like the pro in this one. He was like the prototype. There's a long story about it. We don't have to get into it. Maybe we'll get into some of our other shows, but like pretty much he was the prototype for Dr. Strange. He was the character they were going to do for Dr. Strange. Ditko was like, yo, I want to do a character called Mr. Strange and, Stan's like, well, there's this character. Why don't we just redo it? And that's pretty much how they came up with it. So it's a great book. Honestly, I mean, 1560 for something like this with all that uh, history to it, in my opinion, is pretty affordable too. Um, I, I like this better than Goom. If we would have had Tor instead of Goom, I would have been probably <laughs> been more. Well, I mean, I, I think Joe will agree. I think some of these some of these books don't get as much love as they as they should. And um, NATO is a nice. Nice grade that's, for this. That's book. really great because mm-hmm. really. a lot of these right. these are banged up because it's not like a, a Thor or a recognizable character on the cover, and a lot of times people just I don't treat them with as much love the over yellow. the years. The yellow is really nice too on these. Old it ones. is the coloring on a lot of these. On a these and the tails, they you know they had a lot of the coloring that they did, especially with the Ditko stuff or the um, I'm sorry Kirby stuff. Yeah, I mean speaking of big title characters though, like all these Kirby's have these big like kaiju type characters, and I think people don't realize that's him doing the art sometimes, even though like to a lot of people it's, it's common knowledge. So when you see these people are like, how are they drawing this like ridiculously big, you know, gorilla, big headed guy with like these bold colors and you know, these, these hairy lines that they always have on them. Right. And I think it just gives you that nostalgia feel of really cool type characters. Um, But yeah, Hey, this was a great book. Good sale. Good to see it's up 260 bucks, especially in the 8.0. I wish I had that 9.0. I'll be honest with you. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> well, that's our first. We still have another notable sale. This one, however, is familiar. It's a yo-yo book. Avengers 57. Nice John Buscema cover. First vision. Uh, what to say about this book? It's up, it's down, it's up, it's down, it's up, it's down. <laughs> it seems like every six months it's it's a $4,000 book in a 9.6 or a $5,000 book in a 9.6. The next thing you know, it's an $8,000 book in a 9.6 then back down to a $5,000 book. So right now, uh, Heritage had an auction, uh, just went 9,000 at auction for a nine, six off white pages, uh, which is up one K since December. So it seems like it's, it's in that higher peak right now, uh, where it'll go from here. Who knows, but it's one of those yo-yo books. So it was interesting to see it when it's, uh, toward its top. Hey, I want a lot of nine, six, uh, off white, Twelve centers. You got it. Let's just send them my way. <laughs> <laughs> Make a great for off-white. Yeah, there's a there's a rumor they canceled um the Vision Quest show. <laughs> uh, hmm. You know, hmm. so I wonder how that <laughs> will affect this in the long run. Matthew Modine wasn't available. People no. people people still like this weird character. I mean, they do. They just that that, that they thing. do. I mean, it's a classic. It's a classic cover. It's one of those ones yeah, you see on the wall. A lot. Yep, all the time, recognizable. So. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, those were our notable sales. So let's just get right into the list. Number 10. 
At number 10, we have Thundercats, number one. Thundercat, ho! <laughs> <laughs> Interest in this book has been sparked by Dy Dynamite reuniting the series with um, covers A through double Z. Yep. Holy, yeah. a lot of covers. A lot of, lot of covers. A lot of covers. <laughs> Last week, um, a CGC 9.6 sold for 138. This week, it's up to 275. Hmm. So keep your eyes out for Lino and the gang. Yep, they're back up on top. Like, people loved this book a while back. Remember? Like, they were just buying it, yeah. hoping that something was going to happen with Thundercats. But now Narf, we're getting Narf. another new series, which is great. But did it have to be Dynamite? I know. Too many covers. I know. Too many it, doesn't, covers. it doesn't bother me because you know seven or eight of the covers will be the exact same cover in yeah. ultraviolet black and white <laughs> you know in seven different varieties so you can find your price point and what you like within there without you know well i have a bigger i have a bigger, have a bigger one you don't have to catch them all i have a bigger problem with the cartoon books like idw like you got the saturday morning cartoons the gi joe one great hit they did a second version of the turtles one which is great yeah i just wish it seems like every nostalgic uh, cartoon that they touch, like the Saturday morning type stuff, it just is gold. Like it's really well written. It's well, cool. they didn't get this one, so they didn't get this hold. one. Yeah, so you're just like, oh man, I really would, I really wish they would have. So I guess I'm kind of disappointed in that fact. I mean, I don't care if they come out. You know, I, I mean, know. Dynamite did have Darkwing and Gargoyles recently, but again, they just killed it with too did many. Did you read those books? They weren't. They, they weren't were as good okay. as the Saturday morning books. Let's put it that way. And they and they had those Disney, didn't they? Have the Maleficent and all the yeah, uh, yeah, all the Disney. But films. for the Thundercats, people are hoping for a Chitara cheesecake cover. Looks at Joe and smiles. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, he'll get that at he will get that at Dynamite. He would have got that at IDW. No. He'll get that at Dynamite. So there you I'm go. I'm happy about that. Something to look forward to. And Just like hard. our next book. For me, something for me. Number nine. Number nine. Oh, Sinister. All right. So we're, we'll continue to call this first Mr. Sinister, uh, Uncanny X Men, number 221. Raws are back up to fifty dollars. We've had, you know, there's been steady sales about around this, uh, especially since the Sinister series came out. They also are talking about in '97. Remember, we're eventually getting X Men '97. We'll get we'll get we'll we're it, eventually man. getting it. Um, you know, and they're talking about Sinister being the big bad, which would make sense, uh, mm -hmm. and I like that. That would be good. So this is back up to fifty dollars now. Twenty, thirty copies selling this week, so not a big push from last week selling wise but the price going back up to fifty dollars i think is is why it made here this is a book that just i you know when he talked about yo-yos with uh vision this is one of those two it doesn't yo-yo as much because the price isn't that uh great but the copies usually stay around the same amount the dollar amount changes a little bit and that's what we got here is a little bit of a, a pump in the dollar amount so yeah a little bit a little bit yeah that's all we got but again, again, it was like 50 sales over the last couple of weeks. So just kind of catching up with New York Comic Con, breaking things up in the middle. Some of the regular books still are selling and moving. We just have to turn our attention yeah. back that way sometimes. And with that, we'll get on to our next one. Number eight. Speaking of cartoon properties, well, we got another one with Gargoyles. Yes, we already mentioned that Dynamite's already doing a Gargoyle series, but... This is back in the news because they are apparently working on a live action series of gargoyles. I want to see that live action belt buckle. I don't know what that means. Dude, like, I don't that, know how that's going to work, but I'll it's, be optimistic. I mean, it could be it could be like a train wreck, yeah. but like a beautiful train wreck. You know what I mean? It does have that possibility. I have faith in James Wan. Okay. So, he, I do not. He hasn't, he hasn't steered me wrong yet. Fair enough, but copies are selling again. Just some highs, like new standards you see here, hit 130, just random sales. I mean, the prices are still pretty consistent. This has been a, a book of interest the last year or two now, but it's just back in the in the new cycle again with the series announcement or rumors or whatever you want to call what happened in New York. New York is full of announcements. There's announcing everything. All these possibilities coming our way. But with that, hey, if, can I ask you a question about that what? book real quickly about the series? If they mess up the series in live action, do you care? No, because no, I mean, I like the no. franchise, and I, I'll be honest with you, if they mess it up, I just I won't care. I'll still probably yeah, watch so it. go back and watch the old stuff. Yeah, mess, up, I hear you. mess up plenty of franchises, and they're fine. 
Yeah, it won't break yeah. it. They, they yeah. can't break it. No. Yeah, fair enough. All right. Let's see what we got next. Number seven. At number seven, we have Batman and Robin. Number two, the one in 25 lyrics, Lee. This back is again. back on the list because of Shoot. Shoot. the 25 sales. Highs are hitting $50 compared to last week of 40 to 45 I love this cover. I, I still love it. Love I'm this happy character. to see my, my girl doing well, seeing lyrics bust out with a nice cover. It's really hitting it. Yeah, I mean, a lot of times these incentive variants, they die on the vine after the first week, but this one actually increased a bit. A little bit more volume and a little bit more on the price. Because last week, you were able to still get these at ratio or less, because I paid less than ratio for mine. But now, they're more about that $40 kind of mark with the high of 50 but they're really right around that 35 to 40 bucks on the standard. So, Price is just it's a, still a strong amount for that. Yeah, I mean, I asked about this before the show, too, because I just wanted to double check on it because you do see a drop off on some of these. I do like the yeah. cover, but yeah, to see, see the stuttle sales going is nice, especially with we the see ratios right. collapse every yeah. single week, every single you week. know, every single week. So, it you know, the ones that actually can hold even just a week or two can yeah. definitely stand out. It's pretty impressive. New characters, oh. the new character, oh. I think, helps. hopefully, yeah. this DC character will hold up. You know, remember Vengeance and she Miracle won't. Molly. <laughs> she won't, but you know what? This is it, that book does have an interesting tread because I something Joe just said. There is, there's, you know, we saw that one in one hundred tread where it's style, you know, like 175, two weeks later, three weeks later is going on, and now you're seeing it with some of these DC one in twenty fives, like they're picking up pace after people are getting them in hand, which is is very nice to see. I mean, really, it so yeah, absolutely. All right, let's go. Number six. On number six book. Oh, Lobo, 99 cents. Uh, buy this book for 99 yeah. cents. There you go. You can still. No. Can so, still I mean, we had, you know, we talked about, we actually talked about this guy, book behind the scenes and kind of what was going on with it. And there's a couple things. One, if you can't buy the expensive book, Lobo in purple and orange tights, then you can buy his first appearance, maybe. For five to ten dollars, ten to fifteen now. Uh, there's been about forty sales of this book. Uh, also, if you follow James Gunn news, he said he's getting rid of uh, Aquaman or everybody. But then after that, there is also the rumor that he Momoa will be recast as Lobo. Um, once again, if you can't afford him in orange and purple tights, you could definitely probably afford him in his ninety-nine cent special number one Lobo. This is this is a far cooler cover. Than fire crotch cover, absolutely. Um, and this is like the Lobo people like, right? Yes, yes, yeah, exactly. Which is why they grab I mean, it. It's a it's a cheap iconic cover. That hey, maybe Lobo hits, maybe Momoa gets it, maybe becomes something. Hey. People will probably chase. Maybe somebody else. Gets It'll still be everywhere and still probably be. Lee Momoa is Aquaman. Aquaman hasn't been cool <laughs> in so long. No, he's got to ruin it. Movie's coming out. Gun's yeah. got to ruin it before that movie hits hits yeah. theaters. But there's, I mean, a lot of copies. Of, so I don't know if it's, I don't know if it is that or a combination of two, but it's moving. Like, this yeah, book is, even Omega Men Three is still selling, but it's a little bit of a slower pace than last week, which is why it did not make the list again. Mm. But it is still moving. This, however, has become a, again a cheaper alternative for some people. Yeah, and, and the it's, nostalgia and it's a cooler cover. It's and it a is a cooler. cooler that's <laughs> it. It's the nostalgia cooler cover, right? Like a lot of people had it growing up. So yep. exactly. There you go. Just like Atari right. Force One. Number five. At number five, we have Godzilla, King of the Monsters, number one. Godzilla is on the list because of the Monarch series trailer that dropped. Godzilla was in the trailer. Then you have everything else that's going on with Godzilla as far as a series of Justice League versus Godzilla versus Kong, which has a very solid start. I would advise anybody to check that out and read yeah, that. Give it a read. Really, give it a, yeah, give it a read, read. definitely. Yeah. You know, if worlds are hitting 40, the highs are 90, about 50 sales in the last two weeks. Godzilla's atomic breath roar. <laughs> A lot of guys you've got, you've got a ton of properties now. IDW has a series. Mm -hmm. There's the Toho is is doing the Godzilla film. Yep. So it's yeah, the Monarch series, like you said. So 
there's a lot of kaiju action going on now and uh people love kaiju yeah monsterverse is rolling. Godzilla's popular hopefully that monsterverse they have done a really good job in years past so hopefully we can get a little bit more love that way just a little bit more love. just a little bit not just a little bit all right let's see what we got next number four Oh boy, my favorite. Ooh, the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> the wonderful Halverine. This wonderful <laughs> second print, Wolverine 36, 1 and 25. As we see the rinse, wash, and repeat of the Marvel giving us a black and white, mm -hmm. 1 and 25, second print that seems to do well. This seems to do well for some untellable reason, which I still can't figure out. Um, <laughs> but hey, you know what? People, you know, when the pre-sales were coming out for this, people were hot on it because the first print was still hot. Um, so, you know, people are biting on it. People are still biting on it. You got Raws that are going 90 to 130 bucks. There's a high sale of $150. Person is out $150. But the book is the book's still out there. Um, like I said, it, I I I can't so get full other you endorsement money, of this thing. Yeah, these second print incentives and this character, we already know he's not hanging around. Like we got regular Wolverine coming. There's a new. They're pushing the next next arc. <laughs> like he's not <laughs> Wolverine anymore. I mean, it's cool. It's it's yeah, it's cool. <laughs> I, think, I guess. I think that's some of it, but like. Uh, Ghost Rider and Wolverine are two extremely, I you, you not yes. niche, but they're extremely popular characters in lanes, they right? They're not niche characters. They have followings. Yeah. I wouldn't even call them cult. Oh, yeah, yeah. Die well, Hard are more so than Lane. Yes. Yeah. So like to put it together, I mean, this is like, you know, this makes more sense than some of the other mashups they've done before, like Hulkarine or whatever else they've done. It's a cool and it's a cool cover. I mean, it's something yeah. a. Yeah, you know, they, they, they didn't redo. Yeah. They didn't redo. They didn't redo this one in black and white. So that's that's something. Yeah, you know, Marvel. That's, that's then, a step like, forward, yeah. I guess. I'll be honest. Like, uh, you know, at the comic store shops, there's a lot of people too that were questioning who buys these and who cares. They're selling. You know what I mean? So. Yep. I, I mean, I'm not wasting. It's yeah, not the, my would, money, so I don't. Yeah, care. I, I I would not put. I would not suggest anyone go out and buy it for ninety to one hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> Um, well, probably not 150. Yeah, well, that's, a, that's a good time to remind people this is not a speculation list. This is what the market's no, doing. No, this, this is what the investment. market's doing. This is what people are buying, right, wrong, or indifferent. Yeah, but I mean, like, listen. If here's the thing, though, if if some guy sold one of these for fifty dollars, mm -hmm. why would why wouldn't you why wouldn't you buy? I mean, this is what Wednesday Warring is all about. I haven't done it in years anymore because I just that's not yeah, my it's lane. But like, yeah, I mean, like. But we did it. This is what we this is exactly what we do. You don't question who's paying $130, $150. You know you can get that for $25, $30, $60, and you know you can get $130 for it. So we'll sell it. There's I mean, it's weird. That's it's weird. It's not for us. I think the yeah, the cycle we... the cycles are so short now. Yeah. Some of this stuff though. That the cycles is... have always been short though on that. It's not only the cycles being short, a lot of the bigger yeah. retailers are have caught on a max yeah. a max premium at the start. Yeah. Not the big retailers. The re big retailers were always catching on to it. It's the small retailers that weren't catching oh, on are now catching on to that a lot faster than they used to. So it's a lot harder to do. Yeah, I guess. But with that, let's go on. Number three. You guys didn't love that one. You're going to love this one. <laughs> Blood Strike. Wait, is that Local Man 6? <laughs> yeah, Local no. Man 6 is uh, a lot better than this. Yeah. Oh, they actually know how to draw covers. <laughs> no, this is the field blood. You can hyper like hyper color action going on. You can use your body heat to make the blood stand out on this cover. Gimmicks of the 90s. Is that what you did with it, huh, Pete? <laughs> yeah, it's a crime scene cover. Live field apparently made some sort of uh like a proof of concept or He's shopping this thing around. He's shopping the, I guess, the idea of blood strike around to make something out of it. Show movie. Yeah, I think he did a concept trailer, something along those lines. Did, and did Lifefield uses Lifefield uses his own blood on this? No, 
I wouldn't be yeah. surprised if we did, but I'm just saying. <laughs> no, but the reason why it's here is because of pure volume alone. Since he made this kind of a, I guess, loose like a kind of announcement, you know, whatever it was, 50 plus sales. Yes, it hit a high of 15, but by and large, most of these are still very, very cheap. This is yeah. still dollar. I, su I suggest dollar you box. go find a box somewhere and you can buy 15 of those for that $15. You yeah. mean fifty? You mean fifty out of the two million of these uh, sold? <laughs> wow, great, cool yeah. story, bro. <laughs> well, that's if they survived. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think it's very interesting with him too because the only character that he has that actually hit was a character that um, he copied and then somebody else made cool. Uh, nobody's Ooh. made Bloodstrike cool, so Bloodstrike. Well, Bloodstrike isn't it? I thought it was this team that looks like X Force. Not yeah, all. that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> they, like somebody, it wasn't, it wasn't Rob who made Deadpool cool, right? Deadpool wasn't True. the Deadpool we know till later on. But I don't know anybody that redid Dead or Blood Strike and made them cool. <laughs> Didn't so, make Blood Strike better? Yeah. So I mean, I don't know where. Like, it doesn't matter, I guess, what he says because. I, I thought this was Mutant Liberation Front at first when I first it does look like Mutant Liberation. It does. Holy shit. Yeah, but Cable took Shatterstar's haircut. That's the only difference. He did. Uh, yeah. Yet again, but it's another one of those things where a, a little story moves moves a book that will be back in fifty cent bins and yeah. Plus, again, because people can find them, so people can go dig out yeah. their yeah, yeah, yeah. copies yeah. and yeah. do something with them, but. With that, let's see what we got for our top two. Number two. Number two, Patrick Bateman. Yep, the fantastic American Psycho, number one, one in ten. The Randall Bruder business card, Patrick Bateman business card. Variant, another 40 sales. Average sales, around 40. We've seen highs of 58. Uh, we were mentioning last week that, you know, as of Thursday night last week, there were still copies available on Sumerian's website. Mm -hmm. By Friday, they were sold out. Over the con weekend, you ended up seeing a foil variant and a metal variant of this. But the 1 in 10 seems to be settling into a nice place where it's getting steady volume, decent, decent, comfortable sales, you know, mm -hmm. well over ratio. So people people seem to like it i mean it's it's a sharp book i i have one behind me here there's one back here behind yeah, me and i have an extra yeah. copy coming so we'll be doing a giveaway to get one to you guys so let's see what happens with this book as the weeks go on but yeah volume basically doubled since last week so yeah I and i think cool. people are going to collect i think people are going to collect the set too with the uh, subsequent issues that come out with the cards even though I don't believe their ratios with the subsequent so. issues. But isn't that but doesn't it make he, this book cooler? Because like you buy if you get yeah. the ratio on this one, and also it, it looks like it'll maintain the price because you only have to spend big money on one. On You're one, and then you can hopefully like, get the rest. Yeah, the, the rest of them if yeah. you keep it, so you can get your set. Yeah, together. the rest will be open order. So it's yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be it'll be fun to have have the whole set of them because they they do look. Once I got it in hand, I was like, oh, this this does look pretty damn sharp. Mm. <laughs> it's it's a good it's a good looking book um and it's a, a great concept so and i'm a sucker for sumerian they're one of my favorite publishers so Bruce, you're not i'm gonna happy ask i'm happy to this. see them up there <laughs> what you're not, gonna, you're not gonna ask whose blood is on this one it's cause no. blood from um thor <laughs> is it <laughs> that's how bad it was he killed his career it's paul allen <laughs> all right all right well that leaves us with one left And our number one. Our number one book. No, it's not Deadpool. This is Wolverine number one. The J. Scott Campbell variant. A ghost for many, because this is not an easy book to find. But this week, three copies popped up at auction. And all three sold for... Decent prices considering these were not near mint copies. There were some dings and dents, some ticks and bends and folds and all kinds. The The lister was very meticulous in how they pointed out all of the defects for each book, which you can see are three different books, individuals, and all three of them sold. 1500 bucks thereabouts for all three of them. So 
Definitely. Yeah, actually, this is a perfect one. If you want to go back and you want to look, like sometimes when we look through stuff, we try to make sure that it's just not like a duplicate sale or something like that. Yep. As Pete was mentioning, there are just some little notes on it. Like the, the 16 one had a right corner bend and two dimple or a dimple crease across the W. The fifteen ninety nine had it had a bunch of spine stress and a bunch of spine ticks going up and down mm-hmm. that side. But he circled. Go check out this guy and how he labeled his eBay sale. It is a great way to arrows and yeah, circles. arrows. And it's not hard to do that stuff. He just used the thing. And the last one had last one had probably the most damage. It hit a couple uh, dimples. It looked like there might be. It was definitely color breaking on the right corner, but actually looked like it might have almost been a little bit like of a tear or something to that effect. And then had a spine stress and a little bit more color breaking on it, but still fourteen twenty five, pretty strong for that. I, I suggest you go check out the seller and how he labeled these books. It's very, it's very interesting. You know what I mean? Because I know when you see like this, that was our first question too. Fourteen, same day, fourteen, same day. But like, oh, now, okay. went back through the listing, looked it over. Pretty much seems legit. So that's pretty cool, man. And multiple bids. I mean, you're talking twenty four bids. For yeah, the, a lot of action. A lot of action. Yeah, twenty four, eighteen, and eighteen. 18 Definitely for the 14, awesome. 18 for the 15, and the 24 for the 16. So as he progressively put out better book, like, well, you know what happened. Yeah. Somebody got the 14, and then they, they missed it. So yep. And then the the FOMO, FOMO got a hold of So he missed it again, and then they're like, well, we're not missing this one. So 1650 was worth Yeah, this, again, this is not <laughs> an easy book yet. Weird, weird way to get this incentive. Like, you... What was it? Retailers it was had to return specific titles and they had to return 50 copies to get a copy of this. It was crazy Marvel times. They had to do the old tear off, right? Didn't they have to do the old school like tear off and send was, back in the it was some weird, top weird of the title thing. or something? It was messed up. Those were the crazy the list days. because the, the other book, the other Campbell, the Deadpool cover was the one where you actually had to do DC books and they were trying to, you know, crap on DC, but this one, I well, then they had a crap on their self in that crappy series, Siege. I believe, wasn't that? This, this <laughs> yeah, was that's Siege, right. Siege, the other one was Siege, <laughs> which also I think the same seller had a copy of that that sold as well, right in the same ballpark as these. Oh, really? Yeah, nice. but these there were three of these, so that's why uh, these one made. I could probably could have put the other one on Notable, but yeah, eh, doesn't it matter. Was and it, it was still definitely interesting sales. Again, a book you don't see very often. You want to go see graded prices on these, it's in the thousands if you get those high grades, like the nine eights, a few thousand dollars. So which is interesting why this sold for six. I mean, like, let's be honest. This sold because there's three books back there and people were really getting into the hype of the auction and missing out on the first copy and then on the second. Yeah. Copy. You know, I mean, this is, yeah, that's really kind of having three. It was definitely a way to build. And you saw the prices build on, on whatever that is. Congratulations to them. He or she, they did a great job. They did a great job with everything, listing it, auctioning it, putting the proper timing on there and getting the frenzy to get after it. So good yeah. job. Congratulations. No, definitely. But that's all we got for you this week. So that was our hot 10. Come back next week. We'll have a whole brand new list for you all. All right. See you all later. Nope. Make sure you stay by and check out the uh, Joe's show right after this. That's right. Stick around for Get Off My Lawn.